There's something to be said for strong female characters. Actual strong female characters. It's common knowledge on my channel that I am a big appreciator of Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, specifically its leading lady, Akane Yashiro. But what I'm about to tell you is very personal, and it has affected me as long as I have been online, specifically since I was 14 years old. The pressure only continued and worsened, of course, after I joined YouTube and did my face reveal. I started to attract a new pool of people who I suspected were only interested in me because of physical reasons. As a Gen Z female growing up in a predominantly sexualized culture, I was misled into believing that the best way to achieve success in the Godzilla community and really anywhere as a content creator was to use my looks as a prop. I've spoken about this before in other videos, but this time we're taking the deep dive. I no longer care who I offend with this information. I no longer care who is bothered by my story. The fact of the matter is, Propping yourself up purely on looks with no personality, no talent display, no skills, and nothing else to show for yourself is only going to leave you unsatisfied and empty. And if that's the attention you want, then that's the attention you'll get. But not everyone wants this, and when you're a young girl growing up surrounded by this culture, it can be difficult to grow into your own. You may not know this, but Yumiko Shaku, the actress who played Akane Yashiro in Godzilla against Mechagodzilla was a swimsuit model before she took on the role of Akane. Specifically, she was a reviewer model, who embodied a provocative style of modeling that became popular in Japan in the 2000s. To be frank, Miss Shaku is very attractive, and she was, and still is, the type of woman who can generally rely on her good looks to get by in life. But that is exactly what she didn't do with her role in Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. One of the reasons I respect Miss Shaku so much is because she was handed a script that didn't demand her to be appealing. In fact, it required her to play the opposite as an introverted, lonely, and unappealing character to many of the other characters in the movie, not allowing her to show much skin and forcing her to use her acting skills instead of beauty to portray this character. This film not only handles a reviewer model respectfully, but Miss Shaku handles herself respectfully and proves, with her deeply sympathetic and low-key character, that she is so much more than her looks, and that is one of the many reasons I adore this movie. Kyodai Kino actually did a wonderful video on this topic, which I'll link below. This movie acknowledges that humans are more than flesh. We're not just objects to gawk at and undress. We're people, and just because someone is blessed physically doesn't mean they lack depth and other valuable qualities. It's easy to get in front of a camera and snap a picture for Instagram. It's easy to strut around while you're young, writing out your glory days as youthful and attractive without building something substantial under your feet. It's easy to exchange the intangible for cheap beauty and quick attention. I was caught in this rut myself. For years. Truth be told, I'll probably never fully be out of this rut, either. As females, we do like to look good, and that doesn't really go away, no matter how old you get, or what happens in your life, what lessons you learn. So it will never truly go away, especially with our culture. But you can learn to look past that, and look at greater aspects of yourselves, and build those up, primarily. Not just relying on stuff that, ultimately, doesn't matter. I acknowledge people's response to my appearance, and I ensure I am presentable. But what has changed for me is realizing that I can be like Yumiko Shaku, and understand that I have much greater things to offer. I'm a soul with a body, not a body that happens to have a soul. When we start teaching young women what truly matters, we will begin setting spirits free. And for the record, I've got nothing against looking good. Sometimes, it's the face that launches the initial interest. But don't let that be all you have. Care about those you attract. Because if you mess around for too long, eventually you're gonna run out of steam. When the ship stops, you're stuck in the water, and everyone who is even just a bit wiser than you is continuing to sail ahead toward a brighter future. That brighter future is never outside of your reach as long as you live, though. Keep striving for important things. You'll reap what you sow, and you just might be astounded by the results.